in this video, what we want to do is just get our project set up. Make sure you have everything set up that you need. Uh, number one, you're going to need Node and NPM. So if you don't have those, you're going to want to go to nodejs.org. And there's a big install button here. And by clicking that, it's going to figure out uh, which operating system you're on. And it will in uh, install the right uh, most up-to-date version of Node, which will include NPM, which is the package manager. And that will give you some command line tools. We will be doing some things on the command line. That's where the tests are going to get run uh, for the most part. So you'll need to follow along there. But most of what you can do there is just copy exactly what I'm typing. And if you use uh, a Mac or any a Linux machine, you'll be fine. If you use a Windows machine, you're going to want to install something called Sigwin, C-Y-G-W-I-N. And if you want to follow along with me, because that's going to give you uh, bash commands, uh, which, is, which are what I'll be typing. So if you want to follow along and just copy exactly what I'm typing, then I would recommend doing it that way on, the, on a Windows machine. All right, so once you have Node and NPM installed, you'll get a project course here. And uh, in the notes will be the code if you want to download it and start there. But um, I've called mine Mocha course, and I'll be in this project directory for the entire course. And so what we'll do is most of the time we're going to be running node from here or npm from here with a few other commands that you'll see as we go. So in my editor, I'm just going to show you what's in here already. And this text is kind of small. So in my editor, let's go over what is in this folder out of the gate. So we have a lib folder, and that's where we'll put packages that we write. There's nothing in there yet. Uh, node modules is where things that we install via npm, so little packages and modules that other people have written will get installed into that folder for us. So we'll be installing things as we go. Test is where we'll put our tests as we write them, and in the next video we'll write our first test together. And then the views folder does have one uh, jade template inside of it. This is what a jade template looks like. We're not going to use these much, but this is here so that our server.js file has something to serve. And this file is a really, really simple express server. And it's just going to serve up that Jade template and show you what this palette looks like. So we're going to eventually be building on this palette. Just wanted to give you kind of a baseline of something that you might actually use. So if we were building a website that had color palettes on it, uh, how would we get that palette? How would we convert hex codes to RGB values? And so we'll be expanding on this as we go, but we'll actually leave this server file behind pretty quickly. And so this is just here if you want to play with our results. You can go ahead and take what we build in our functions and put it on this server and watch it. So just to show you that it works, we'll go into the command line and use node server.js. And that's all we have to do to get that express app running. And it's just going to do this. It's going to look like maybe it broke your terminal, but it didn't. It's just listening. Um, and so until you do control C, it will continue to listen. In the browser, if we go to localhost 9000 for me, it might be 8000 for you depending on what state it's in, but we've got this really delicious, yummy looking color palette that's actually pretty awful because I just picked the hex colors at random. Uh, but you can see we've got a palette that's being put out onto the page. And so that should be all you need to get started. So the rest of everything we do, you'll be just uh, following along with me as we write tests and figure out how tests should be written. So in the next video, we'll jump in and start writing our first test.